Welcome back to another weapon build video and today we're going to take a look at the Tenet Detron. Now if you saw the last video of mine, then um, <laughs> very hilarious. However, we will be seeing the Garuda Prime version of the Talons. So hopefully let's see if the stats increase. I already know people are probably already in, you know, was in the comments like, yeah, you stupid, you stupid, you stupid. How did you not know that? You stupid. You didn't pay attention. Blah, blah. Yeah, I know. All right, let's get on to the build. All right, so let's start. Let's start the stats and talk about it. We got fire rate of 3.33. We got six magazine. We have 10 multi shot and reload is one. And I have a 47.2% magnetic damage for this weapon. So, yeah. You know, you guys have whatever you have, and I have mine. So we got 80% critical chance. We got two point, sorry, two times the critical multiplier, and then 10% status and projectile. And since this has projectile, which makes a whole lot of sense, this is not going to work with galvanized aptitude. And then we have 26 damage of radiation. Here's my bill: galvanized diffusion, 110% multi shot on kill, 30% multi shot for 20 seconds, stacks up to four times. So you're stacking at four times, 30% multi shot. We have prime target cracker, 110% critical damage. We have lethal torrent, always an important mod on the build, 60% fire rate and multi shot, pistol pestilence and frostbite, 60% cold toxic for pistol pestilence and status chance for both mods. So the next mods that I'm using is Hornet Strike. All right, we have uh, yeah, two hundred twenty percent damage, which hmm, maybe we should try something since I just bought that up. Eighty three point two of our radiation went up, thirty nine point three magnetic, which I don't really care about, and then one hundred forty six point nine damage of viral. So I might actually have to switch these out. All right, the next mod that I were using. Since we can't use Galvanized Aptitude, I decided to throw in Sharpened Bullets. 75% critical damage when aiming for 9 seconds on kill. So you need to be aiming to use this mod, which will increase our critical multiplier. Then the next mod that I'm using is Scorch. Now with this uh, mod here, we have 60% heat and status. So that's... What I wanted to focus on was get more status in here as well. And that's pretty much, yeah, the heat damage as well, which helps us out with more damage. So, yeah, that's going to be the build. And then I'm going to set up a whole nother build for you guys. All right, we're going to be placing the mods. And obviously, you guys can use the second configurations to, you know, better yourself too, so you don't, you know, get confused with all this stuff. You know, just make it separate builds. All right. Secondary Deadhead, I'm going to be using. I guess you can also use secondary mer uh, merciless, but honestly, since we don't have galvanized aptitude in this build, we might just have to use secondary deadhead. That's honestly the better go-to. 120% damage for 24 seconds, stacks up to three times. You get 30% to headshot multiplier, which is very vital for the enemy, and we get 50% decrease on weapon recoil, which this weapon doesn't have any weapon recoil to it. So yeah, that's a advantage and a um, really good, um, you know. Thing that's on deadhead so let's go ahead and start testing this out so doing good damage like you see so it says galvanized aptitude doesn't work on the build I would uh, really appreciate to get that mod in there but it will not. Now we're going to use a second all fire. Which is murdering them very... Uh, it's, it's looking really good. It's looking really good. As you can see. But don't worry. This is only just not the build setup here. You know, I, I got other... I want to show you guys another build setup that you can, you know, build this. This is why it's called a build guide. So now here's the second way you can build it. All right, I just took out, I moved Lethal Torrent down here. I took out the uh, Scorch mod. So we got Magnum Force on here, which is going to increase our damage even more now. I don't think I was aiming before. I was a little bit, but, you know, 
Well, you can't aim, I don't think, when you use the second all fire. So let's cut that out. Now we got corrosive damage in here and uh, more damage for our build. Since we got Malaysia Force in here. And now we're doing over 11,024 damage, all right? And that's, I guess, where we want to get it to. So, yeah, corrosive damage is going to take effect. I'm sure we're going to be doing more damage now. And I really just don't know where this is going to lead to. But I guess this is another way you guys can build it. Ooh, okay. Starting off with some good headshot damage over here. Yeah, like... So yeah, we see some good damage going on, like better than uh, the other setup we had. This is doing good. So let's go ahead and second out fire. And not that bad. That was that was good. That was good as well. There goes two ways you can build uh, for Tenant Detron. Hope you guys enjoyed it because that's just like only the way I know of how we're going to do good damage without galvanized aptitude in this build or for building tenant detron um but yeah i think your bonus element is going to take you further to do more damage so whatever it is it is what it is um and it, you know your bonus element is going to help you do more damage for your tenant so just keep that in mind as well your tenant whatever your bonus element is is going to help you go further to do more damage since Galvanize Aptitude does not work for this weapon. Let me know what you guys think about this build in the comments below. If you enjoyed it, let me know. And if you didn't, then please do not. When taking Tenant Detron to the Still Path, really good weapon, honestly. Just obviously not great for taking it to Survival, but really good weapon to take uh, besides Survival, like any other mission but Survival. But yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be using a pretty good weapon. I mean, I think it's better than obviously all the other Detron weapons because it's tenant and you get a bonus element on your weapon so like who wouldn't want to add a bonus bonus element to the weapon however my my magnetic element is really going to help me take down corpus actually more faster so this build that i have set up like viral heat magnetic damage like this all benefits me for corpus and you know, the corrupt enemies that are basically Grenier type and just corrupt enemies in general. So, honestly, magnetic damage does benefit you if you're using, you know, both elements. So we also have radiation on here, which, I mean, well, enemies will attack them, attack each other because of the radiation, thinking that, confusing them of which one is the enemy. So, yeah, I think this... My uh, bonus element, really good, benefits me for both enemy uh, targets. And just a good way to kill enemies, you know? Like, we got Arcanes, the Galvanized Mods, like, what can go wrong? What can go wrong? But that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.